Hi everyone, I'm Yifan Wang from the University of Washington. Today I'm going to introduce our joint work on repopulating street scenes. Websites such as Google Street Views provide a rich sense of what different locales are really like. However, the imagery provided by such sites also has key limitations. A given image might be full of cars and pedestrians, making it difficult to observe the environment. Importantly, the fact that the imagery records real people and vehicles may require anonymization efforts to protect privacy, such as blurring face and license plates or by removing pedestrians from images. We propose a learning-based framework to mitigate these limitations. Given a single street image, our framework first removes existing objects along with their shadows. We then repopulate the scene with new objects. Our framework can automatically select objects that matches the lighting of the scene and compose them into the scene with proper scale, occlusion, and cast shadows consistent with scene's geometry and lighting. Our framework is trained on short time-lapse image sequences gathered from Google Street View. In these time-lapses, objects are generally in motion. We use the media image as a ground truth clean plate image to get rid of the moving objects and their shadows. Our framework has four major components. A removal network that learns to remove existing objects and their shadows. A sun estimation network that learns to predict sun position from an image, which helps identify comparable objects for insertion. A method to scale the inserted object properly with correct occlusion order based on its placement in the scene. An insertion network that learns to cast shadows for newly inserted objects. Our removal network takes an input image and a class mask as input, and outputs an imprinting mask and an imprinting map. We synthesize the removal image by composing the imprinting map via the imprinting mask over the input image. The Sun Estimation Network takes the input image and predicts two vectors, one for azimuth angle and one for elevation. Here we visualize the estimated sun position as a 2D distribution formed by the outer product of two vectors. We further use an estimated depth map and an estimated ground segmentation map to infer the geometry of the scene. The inferred geometry is used to determine the scale and occlusion order for newly inserted objects. The insertion network takes as input a shadow-free composite image, a class mask, a depth map, an XY grid map, and the predicted sun position distribution, and outputs a scalar gain image and a color bias image. We apply the gain and the bias map to the shadow-free image to synthesize the final results with shadows. We first show results on object removal. The traditional imprinting method CRA only imprints the area within the mask and has leftover shadows. Our method removes objects completely along with the shadows. Next, we show object insertion results. We compare with the recently proposed shadow network. Both networks are trained on our dataset. Our method generates more realistic shadows with details. Finally, we show results for repopulating street scenes. Our pipeline first removes the existing objects in the scene, then selects objects matching the scene's lighting, places them randomly on sidewalks and roads, and synthesizes realistic shadows. Our pipeline also works on cloudy days, removing and casting subtle soft shadows. For more information, we welcome you to check out our project page.